Okay, so this is how to make a super substrate for growing mushrooms and starting off mycelium um, in a vegetative state. So um, this is my own recipe that I've been working with. Um, I've been doing my mycology for some time. Now, uh, here's some lion's mane <clears throat> spawn that I got going. And uh, I first grew this on this substrate and now I'm transplanting it or leaping it through to um, sawdust. So um, what this is here is this is a one to one to one mixture of rolled oats, bird seed, and um, rye berry. And I've had it um, <clears throat> soaking at room temperature for a few days <clears throat> so what what's gonna happen when you soak it at room temperature is the um, first of all it's gonna absorb all the water so <clears throat> you really want that to happen you want the grains to absorb all the water second thing that's gonna happen it's very important is <clears throat> the endospores the bacterial endospores inside the grain uh, they're going to germinate, and you're going to see that. You, you're going to see kind of like a fermentation thing going on where it's going to start bubbling and stuff. And that's good, so you want all those things to germinate. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to boil it, so you're going to kill all those endospores. So now what I've just done here is I've washed it. So you strain it out, and then you wash it, and you just keep washing it until the water is kind of becomes clear. So that's probably good enough. So go ahead and <clears throat> dump this water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add supplements. So I'm going to add a small supplement of bran. Okay. Now the funny thing about this is these supplements is uh, mushrooms are like people in that <clears throat> they don't like to eat the same thing every day they like a um, a good variety so a little bit of bees pollen give some nice protein <clears throat> they like a variety of food to munch on and uh, okay so it's very difficult to Flaxseed powder. A um, little bit of uh, coconut flakes. <clears throat> A little bit of cornmeal. So this is just going to basically create like a golden corral buffet for your mycelium to really, really enjoy. Uh, one thing you can also do is you can soak it with, um, you can soak this in uh, coffee, leftover coffee, and uh, that will give a little nitrogen. Here we got some uh, calcium carbonate powder which will act as a buffer because as the mycelium grows and eats it um it's gonna add a very small amount it uh, releases acid and the pH goes down so <clears throat> to prevent that you want to um, and here's a little bit of gypsum give a little bit of magnesium just a little bit that's all you need the um, <clears throat> the flax seed provides um, omega eight some fatty acids just as these uh, corn uh, coconut <clears throat> flakes do. The bees pollen provides proteins, and um, just kind of mix that up a little bit. <clears throat> and then uh, the bran is is kind of a powder. You know, some sugars, more accessible sugars, so that mycelium will work through and eat all this stuff up. Now what you're going to want to do 
is uh, boil this. Pump it all in. Okay. And you're gonna boil this in. This is gonna kill all those endospores and um, you're gonna suck up more of the um, the the water and I would I usually boil it for about 30 minutes so just boil that dude and then the next thing you're gonna strain it once again and then you're gonna dry it and then what I usually do is I mix it with vermiculite um, and the vermiculite absorbs some of the water that's on the outer that's on the surface and um, and then just put it in your uh, in your jars, and then you can do some inoculations. And then uh, what I usually do is I I allow the mycelium to grow in darkness, and uh, the temperature depends on what you're growing. So some things grow tropics, some things grow in other things. So. Um, oh, and of course you're going to want to sterilize, so after you load the jars up, sterilize them in a uh, pressure cooker. So, uh, mushrooms are like people, they like to eat uh, a lot of different stuff. So this uh, super substrate here uh, takes advantage of all that, where I'm mixing grain and flour and all this stuff together to give <clears throat> the mycelium a really... Uh, a good variety of things to, to munch on and to grow real healthy and uh, that's what I do anyways.